400 or so AD, Rome falls, collapse of the Roman Empire, entering an unbelievably dark period in terms of ignorance, in terms of the dark ages throughout Europe, the level at which people did not understand how the world worked, the level at which people had lost knowledge from previous times, books were gone, philosophers were gone, the level of just isolation, intellectual isolation was phenomenal. It was during that period, it was as if 500 years before, people had known the cure for cancer and for AIDS and for being able to fly on your own and all of that. And somehow in the aftermath of the empire falling apart, all of that knowledge was lost. Literacy went down the tubes. And this was a period that gave rise to words like having an audit, having an audit about your finances, making an oral argument before the judges, having hearings about something or other before the court, because all of these were about speaking, about auditory transmission of information, because nobody could read anymore. This was a period where there was no Western European language that had the word progress or ambition in it. These were non-existent non concepts at the time. Utter intellectual isolation, utter social isolation. During that time, the vast majority of people lived in small villages where you would go 50 miles away and people spoke a dialect that you could not understand that degree of isolation. Estimates are the average person never went more than 12 to 15 miles away from where they were born in their entire life. Incredible isolation and incredible ignorance ultimately about how you explain causality in the world because all of the information was gone. Then something dramatic changed in the year 1085, which is the first European Christian conquest of a major Islamic city, a major Moorish one, in this case Toledo in Spain, Spain at the time, which was Moorish and known as Alhambra at the time. This was the first city to fall to Christian troops since Islam swept in there. And this was basically sort of, you know, a second rate kind of city. This was not some major center Toledo, but simply by European forces having captured that city, something extraordinary happened, which was within that city was a library with more books than existed in all of Christian Europe put together. The simple library in this sort of out of the way podunk sort of city there out in the boondocks, one run of the mill library there had more accumulative information than was available to all of Europe at the time. And suddenly Europe got to rediscover philosophers, Aristotle, Plato, all of that. They got to rediscover logic. They got to rediscover all the great works. Suddenly all of those flooded back into Europe and the first beginnings of sort of a modern mindset about complexity started to emerge. 